Hi, good morning, good afternoon, how are we? Guys, welcome back to a, another video. Matt, are you good? Yeah. Okay, do you got your seatbelt on? No. We're in Wyoming, we're hunting antelope. I've got an antelope tag over here. With a couple of human beings I kind of like. My buddy Cam, say hi. Hello. My other buddy Ben, you guys know Ben from the videos. Oh, Benny boy. Howdy. What's that, man? Anyway, so I drew an antelope tag over here and uh, Cam told me I could come over here and shoot maybe an 80 plus inch antelope, which has been my dream for a long time. Since I started hunting antelope, which was like 11 years ago. I didn't hunt them growing up because my dad didn't want to eat them, but antelope meat is some of the best meat on the planet, in my opinion. Anyway, I've always wanted to kill an absolute just tanker of goat. 80 inch antelope is a big goat. So that's what we're kind of trying to do today. So come along with us. You tell that one's a buck. Here's a tech tip for you guys when you're hunting antelope, you want good optics. Antelope. Another whole big bunch of them over there. Antelope hunting is a little different than everything else. You can literally drive roads and just glass and locate. Find something you want to go kill and just go kill it. And it's fun. What did Gage say a few years ago? If you haven't done antelope hunting, go do antelope hunting. They're running. Quickly. <laughs> Quickly. Rapidly. You know an antelope can run up to 65 miles an hour? Probably one of the fastest land animals there is. Is the antelope. Pronghorn. Just doing the antelope thing, guys. I really want to kill a big one. So I'm gonna kind of be picky. We only really have a day and a half to try to do this, so. But uh, we've seen some good ones, nothing. I always say this when I take somebody out antelope hunting for the first time, I say you're gonna either see a really big buck, a really unique buck, or just a buck. And I'd say 85% of people that hunt antelope just shoot bucks, which is cool. Like I've only shot bucks in my life. I either wanna shoot a real weird one, unique, or a real big one, tall one or a big scoring one. But the thing with antelope hunting, you can just kind of look over them, you know, just drive the roads and glass and find them and look over the bucks. And if it's not something that gets you excited, just move on to the next group. There's always more groups. So we're in a really good, cool spot, a lot of land to, to look over. So we're gonna keep keep after it, see what we can find. Feeling good, man. It's about, what time is it, 2.30? 2 2.30. 2 um, we're starting to get into some more goats. This morning was a little slow. We saw some antelope. Just not the big herds we were hoping for, but we get, came to a new area. We're starting to see some more. There's two possible shooters so far, but we're gonna see what we can see and then make a decision. You like it, Cameron? Yeah. You ready to talk on the camera yet? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So this is my good buddy Cameron. I met him at uh, the bear hunt we did with Ben, and Scott, and Logie this fall or spring. And Cam says he has a, a lease for uh, antelope over here that has some big goats on it. And he asked me if I wanted to shoot a big goat. And I said, yes, please. All right, we looked at enough antelope. I think we found the one. I've seen a lot of nice, nice antelope. You know, and I've never killed a giant animal. Probably 72 inches the biggest one I've ever killed. But we got one that looks like he's right there at that maybe 80 inch mark, which is, which is huge. So these goats out here, this is late in the season. There's only like four or five days left in the season. So they've been getting hunted for almost a whole month. So they're kind of a little spooky, but we're about probably half a mile from them. But there's a little rise we're gonna get up on top of and they should be like 300 yards. So let's go make this happen, Matty. Let's go hunt. How much do you think you would hold for it? It's a pretty small bolt. Eight or 10 inches? I think so. Like fold it like on the front of his front shoulder. It, yeah. If it's blown this, if he's faced this way, front of his front shoulder. Yep. yep. 
It's pretty okay, stiff. Right. Hold on to hair, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, day two in Wyoming. Uh, couldn't get one kill yesterday. Wind was pretty gnarly, but today's beautiful. No wind. And we found the buck that we saw yesterday. The big one. So we're going to go kill him. Come, come, come join us. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dang, dude. That was a stock, <laughs> dude. That was awesome. That's how it should that, go that, down, buddy. Stop. Heck yeah. Good shooting, buddy. Yeah, 70 yards. <laughs> 300 Weatherby. He was the only one here, though. It's wild. All by himself. You think it was him for sure? It's a good go. He's a good go. That's all I care. I just snuck up, saw him. I was like, up. Oh, he's dying. Yeah. Heck yeah. Great go, buddy. That was fun. Antelope hunt, you know, like I like antelope hunting because you can kind of like choose how you do it. Yeah. But uh, you know, you can drive around the roads, glass, find them, and uh, you know, we glassed this buck up yesterday. We he was with thirty plus goats yesterday, and they big mega group. It's late in the season. That's the way they do when they get cold. But it's just tough to sneak on thirty goats. And so today we found them again, pr pretty much in the same spot, and they're all spread out today. So we made a game plan to come around the backside and just snuck up, you know, three quarters of a mile, 
popped up on the one ridge. We dropped a, a pin on our on X when we spotted him over there. Dropped a pin where we thought he was at, and we popped up and 80 yards below us, he was he was there. So I just snuck up on this little ridge and shooting the 300 weather bee today and uh, smoked him. Let's go look at him. Looks like a good goat. <laughs> Sometimes three, you know. <laughs> I was a little nervous about it, but it's that close. Ah, oh, he's beautiful. Look at that thing. What a gorgeous goat. Thank you, buddy. I love these little creatures, man. They eat so well. Yeah, it's the biggest goat I've ever killed right there. It's big, man. He is big. You know what I like about it? It's yesterday when we were trying to kill him. He's been running a lot. Today, he's feeding all night, feeding this morning. Not full of adrenaline. Yeah, dude, what a stud. Thank you, Mr. Goat. You're gonna feed the family well. Heck yeah. Probably 15. I think it's, I don't think his cutters are as big. I don't think they are either, that other one has. He's big though. Yeah. How black his face is. That's fucking sweet. Thank you.